So we've already spoken in a previous video about um, the trim angle of the drive unit. Now these are separate uh, units that are actually fitted either side of the drive unit on the stern of the boat. Uh, and they basically consist of a small um, flat plate that is activated by, by hydraulics by electromechanical um, means. And they angle down um, from a, a flat orientation of the back of the boat, they angle down about 15 to 20 degrees. And what that does is it has the effect of um, a bit like a, an aileron or a, a, an elevator on an aircraft have the effect of pushing water down at the back of the boat, which therefore creates a little bit of lift, so it lifts the back of the boat, the stern of the boat, out of the water. Um, and combine that with the trim angle as well, we can actually lift the boat completely out of the water, and completely back down, we lift the boat out of the water. Also, if you look at the back of the stern of the boat, they're fitted in pairs, one over side, and by adjusting the angle just the roll angle of the boat, so it, uh, it pitches from the uh, angles, rolls, etc. So again, a bit like an aircraft. Now, the problem that we've got with these particular trim tabs is that uh, if you look at them in M section, they are basically a U-shape, an inverted U-shape. What that does is it means that you've got two, um, in effect, small rudders um, pushing down below the boat. The, the now, normally this wouldn't be a problem, however, slight design flaw on this particular boat was that the, um, the little U shape, the rudder shape, is not uh, parallel to the um, to the centre line of the boat. So what it actually is doing is that the left hand um, trim tab is trying to push the boat to the left, and the right hand trim tab is trying to push the boat to the right. So if this is causing uh, extra strain, extra drag on the boat. What it's actually doing is it's causing a lot of turbulence immediately behind the stern. And this turbulence is in effect extra drag, therefore there's more fuel used, uh, less efficient. There is actually another issue with the fact that when the boat is over at a, a high lean angle, so in other words if you're doing a high speed turn, what can actually happen is that the, the trim tab on the outside of that boat, i.e. If you're turning right, um, the trim tab on the left can actually lift right out of the water. And what this actually then does is that means the one on the right that's digging down is now getting a better purchase of the water, and so it can actually make the turn even tighter, a little bit uncontrollable. So, not a good practice. So we're going to be replacing with a set of stainless steel flat trim tabs, so they've got no uh, downward angle at all. Present a completely flat surface. They're also slightly bigger, they're sort of extended. So, what this means is that you can actually push them down uh, at a lesser angle but because you've got a bigger surface. It actually has a greater effect, therefore, you have better effect, less drag. Um, so, that's how it's going to go. Um, we'll have to see how it, uh, how it pans out.